Hey guys, welcome back to the Passing Money Plan. We're going to be reacting to this video by Kirby's boy, Aristotle. So uh, check out this video. Use cash or credit for private jet. I use cash, but I pay cash within a business account so that it is tracked that I paid for this with business expenses so I can write it off because this is for business. Why does it even matter? You still have to pay cash for the credit. Exactly. Credit is not free money. Funding is not free money. Somehow, some way in this entrepreneurial space, funding is the new sales pitch. Credit is the new sales pitch. But at the end of the day, we just seen with COVID, people got PPP loans, still went broke, still did dumb shit. So you're essentially telling people how to go fund a lifestyle that they really can't manage. And now they're in debt. It only works for 1% who can get famous off a lifestyle. All right, Kirby, what do you think about this? Uh, I think he was spot on. I think he was spot on. And uh, we talked about it when we were talking about uh, debt services and, and how people get online and social media and tell people how to uh finesse to credit card companies and things like that but the thing that they don't mention is hey you got to pay this stuff back i mean it's a reason why their channels are so popular is because so many people got bad credit they got bad credit because they didn't pay the creditors back so you're teaching them how to get more credit cards or get business lines of credit or business credit cards or what have you but you're not teaching them the key aspect of how to keep those credit lines open and that is pay your bills i mean it's cash is that's what's gonna pay it cash flow in our instance is what's gonna pay it uh, alex you brought up a good point in the last video where you say yeah you use credit cards but you use credit cards just for the interest-free loan so you can put more towards investment but you're gonna pay it before the uh interest the interest kicks in on the payment that's how you finesse not, oh, well, you got a 300 credit score. Let's hurry up and boost your credit score so you can get this business line of credit so you can go off and mess off some more money and then you can't pay that and then you're back in the same situation. I mean, I talked about on the other video, when you go get business credit cards, especially your first one, they need a personal guarantor, a human guarantor. The human guarantor is going to be a social security number. So if you screw off that um, business line of credit card, they're still going to come after you. But people don't talk about that. They, Like he said in the video, you talk about finessing and how you can get this extra money, but you can't manage the lifestyle, so you're back broke. I know a lot of people that got PPP loans. I know a lot of people that got the enhanced unemployment. I know a lot of people that got you know the enhanced food stamps, got uh, the stimulus money and things like that. They are no better off today than they was before they got it. Actually, those people are worse off today than when they got the loan because they didn't know how to manage the money. They went out, bought rims, watches, cars, a whole bunch of stupid stuff, guns, all the stupid stuff. And then now they back in the worst position. They're in. Why? Why? Because y'all look at finessing and y'all look at raising capital or getting uh, more ways to get money and loans and funding as a way out. It's only a way out if you use it to make more money. It's not a way out if you're going to use it to buy stuff that you're just going to consume. Alex, what you got? And that was well said, Kirby. Oh, I'm going to have to come up with something good because we close it out right there. Um, no, I, I really like this guy. He, uh, he's he got a lot of good content like on stocks and stuff. Um, but it, it's absolutely true what he was saying. Like today, it's like a new phase or fad that people think credit is this new thing. Like, and it's so heavily pushed, but yeah, like you, like you had mentioned what I do with credit, but I don't think many people have it, like have the financial discipline to do that. Um, because that's just something that I can control myself in doing, but that's, that's how you want to use credit or use leverage is use it to your benefit, not, but your true benefit, not use it for things that you want that make you feel happy that that stuff is irrelevant in business you want to use it so that you can make more money and then in this case since you know if it if it's with a credit card you want to have it paid off before you're charged interest because they charge you a high interest rate with uh you know with funding and for businesses you want to make sure that that funding that you're receiving 
can make you more money for your business, not simply just buy new cars for the business or a new office space or all that stuff. How about make money first before you worry about what computer you're using to work on? And, you know, even with, uh, with real estate, you know, I mean, use it, use the leverage so that you can buy good deals and, you know, rent them out, rent out those properties. But people, like you said, they just want to use, they just want to use credit and leverage so that they can just go off and show off and flaunt what they bought with it. But th that those things aren't going to get them out of where they're at. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a crazy world out there and uh, we're not gonna push this too long, but it's a crazy world out there. I mean, I've personally seen it in my family. I've seen it to people that I advise. I see it to people. Actually, I got a, um, a meetup uh, on Monday and it's crazy that most of the people are, they got some form of stimulus, some form of, you know, extra money that came in. I only know, you know, one or two people that actually use the money for good. I mean, good meaning that they use it to make more money. Most people use it to consume. I mean, I know, I know family members that don't know how to cook a hot dog. But when they start getting un uh, enhanced unemployment, now they got a barbecue grill full of steaks and lobsters. I said, where they do that at? <laughs> I, you know, I get a one steak and one lobster at a time. They got a whole barbecue grill full of them. I said, whoa, whoa, where is this money coming from? But and then, now, but now you look up and then those same people, they don't have anything. They're worse off. They, you know, they'd advanced out so much on unemployment, they refuse to even go back to work. So you, you see this stuff and you're like, what the hell? So you had a, a small come up and you blew the opportunity again. And people acting like these opportunities are just going to keep coming over and over and over again the rest of their life. But then they're going to look up. They're going to be 65, 70 years old, uh, living in a kid's basement, uh, having a buddy's house. You could sleep on the couch or something like that. And then you're going to think about all the times you had money and you just messed it off. And what did you get out of it? You could, you have a couple of stories. Oh yeah. I remember we got those PPP loans, all barbecuing every week. So <laughs> what, what is that going to do for you? I mean, I mean, I see the cars, I mean, especially here in Florida, you know, we saw a lot of people get arrested, you know, making up fake, fake uh, LLCs and fake, employment documents and things like that and and then you know people came to ask us hey man why don't you go get a ppp loan why don't you get that free money why if i'm not gonna use it to make more money and at the time it was yeah we didn't know how the back end of that whole thing was gonna play out but i wasn't impacted i wasn't impacted by my business wasn't impacted we was financially stable enough to shut down a commercial building and tell the owners of the business, hey, don't pay rent. You know, make sure you take care of your families. You know, we understand the economy shut down. You probably not getting much traffic because of COVID. Just take care of your families. So I don't need help from the government to be financially responsible. I mean, if it was something that I was just like, oh, this is too good to pass up and I could find a way to flex it to get the money to pay it back before any interest and stuff kicked in, then maybe, but I didn't see nothing, especially in a low interest rate environment when prices were shooting through the roof that I was going to chase. Again, I'm a contrarian investor. I don't follow the crowd. So, but a lot of people do. And everybody that follows the crowd, they usually get marched over a cliff. And that's the reality of it. Yeah, exactly. So all that being said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.